world with a photographer making balloon hats for people and taking photos of them. We went to 34 countries around the world, and the goal was to show that everyone is born with a sense of humor and ability to laugh, and that no matter how different people are, and we are all different, we look different, we sound different, different gods, different aesthetics, different education levels, everyone is completely different. There's no two people on the world in the world that are exactly alike, yet at the same time, we, the paradox is we are extremely similar. Okay? We are basically all on the same ship here, this ship being a green and blue ball floating in what seems to be an infinite sea of black, right? This little world, we're all, this, we're all on it together. We're all the same. We all need sunlight, food, water. One of the things that makes it similar is that everyone laughs. For instance, if you hear someone speaking a language and you don't know a single word they're saying, if you hear them laughing, you instantly know they're laughing because laughing sounds the same in every single language. That's one of the things that unifies all people. But at the same time, we are completely different and to um, those differences can be fascinating and terrifying at the same time and annoying. It's called ethnic tension. It happens all the time. It's unavoidable because essentially we are tribal just like animals are in tribes, people are in tribes, but we also are more complicated than animals in that we can interact and share and learn from each other. So what I want to talk about today is a very simple but very complex paradox that every single person has to deal with, okay? That paradox is what feeds your heart doesn't necessarily feed your stomach, okay? What pays the bills you might hate and what you might love to do you don't get any money from. So how are you going to do both at the same time? It's very complicated. <laughs> now, I, I, I just wrote this, this this afternoon. The three legs for success. Conviction, talent, tenacity. These are the three things that you need no matter what. Okay? Doesn't matter if you want to go to law school or you want to play avant-garde weird jazz that maybe only, you know, 0.3% of the population is going to enjoy, but you want to make a living from these things, okay? Conviction is you just really have to care. You really want to do it. You're not doing it out of obligation. You're not doing it because you think, oh, the girls are going to like me if I play guitar. That might be okay, and you can be in a, a garage band in college. But if you really want to play guitar, you have to love the guitar. You have to love the vibration of sound and being one with the sound. And whether people like it or not, or the girls like it or not, that's secondary. You have to really care about it, and then your soul comes through. Talent is both inborn and developed. So you can be born with uh, an ability to do something or a propensity for it, like a mathematician might be born with an, a mind that can deal with numbers, but it's also something that they have to practice. Like for instance, uh, Shaquille O'Neal. Obviously you could say that guy was born to play basketball. Same with Kobe Bryant. But they still gotta sit there and practice their free throws over and over and over and over again. So it's a combination of the two. And tenacity means when you're knocked down, when you're, do, when you're trying to do what you want and you're knocked down or you're frustrated and you want to give up, that you deal with the misery and bounce back. Having only two of these things will not work. You need all three of them. And I thought it was really interesting how Adi was able to associate balloon animals with success. And it's, it's a really just a, a great thing to hear because everybody loves balloon animals and everyone wants to be successful and associating the two really ma uh, makes the speech effective. If you just make it grow